Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me, Yogesh Kumar from KumarLab.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up the Kali Linux on Windows computer using VMware Workstation. To complete this process, you'll need two files that is Kali Linux.iso file and VMware Workstation. To download these files, I have given the links on the description. You can uh, go there and check it out and you can download the files over there and you can start uh, setting up for ethical hacking work interface. Okay guys, let's do the installing process. Okay guys, uh, I hope you have downloaded both the files. Okay. Let's first install the VMware workstation. Just click it. Okay, click next. Accept the terms and condition and click next. I want to use the enhanced keyboard driver, so I'm clicking this option and click next. Okay, uh, next, next, and install. Okay, installation has finished. Just click finish. Okay, I don't want to reboot this right now. Okay, uh, let's start the Kali Linux setup process. Okay, uh, click on create new virtual machine. Uh, click next. I want to use the ISO image, that's why I'm clicking this option and I'm browsing the file. Okay, please select the ISO file and click next. Click Linux and Debian 8x version and click next. Uh, you can set the virtual machine name here. I'm writing Kali Linux. Okay, click next. Okay, I'm changing the name Kali Linux to next. Okay, uh, recommended uh, site for Debian X 8x is 20 GB. So I want to use a little bit more memory. So I'm using 25 GB and I want to use this disk as a single file so I'm selecting the, uh, this option and click next and click finish okay now start this virtual machine okay you can use arrow key and uh, to select you can use the enter button okay first of all click the graphical install option 
and click enter okay select the language I am selecting English uh, select your country I am selecting India and select continue okay I want to use the American English keyboard so let's click next It will take some time. Okay, uh, you can give the name here. I'm leaving Kali here and click continue okay leave the domain name blank and click continue okay uh, you can set the root password here uh, this is the password with which you uh, you are going to log in into the Kali so I'm setting the password click continue okay uh, select guided use entire disk and click continue uh, click the recommended option and click finish and write changes to disk click yes to the right changes to disk and click continue uh, now it is installing the system and it's gonna take some time so wait for that Okay, click no to use network mirror and click continue okay click yes and click continue okay it is finishing the installation Okay, installation is complete. Uh, so it's time to boot into your new system. Okay, click continue. Click Kali GNU Linux. It is almost done. Okay, guys, uh, the installation has successfully completed. Uh, let's enter the password. Use root as a username and enter the password. You can see the Kali Linux interface has opened and it is showing the small panel. So uh, we just need to increase the size to the full screen. 
okay just go to the vm and go to the install vmware pro okay guys you can see here uh, vmware 12 just click that you just need to extract this file click right click and click open with archive manager okay uh, just click extract and you need to extract uh, to the home so click home and click extract okay just close it the VMware tool distribution is here just click uh, open and right click here and open in terminal okay just do ls here uh, we need to install the VMware uh, dash install.pl file so uh, VMware dot pl Okay, uh, is installing the VMware tool. Uh, in which directory do you want to install the binary file? Uh, if you uh, click enter, it will gonna take the default directory. So default directory is user slash bin. So just click enter. Click enter. Click enter. Click enter. Click enter. Okay, just click enter. Okay, guys. Uh, Okay, the path that this this does not exist. Do you want to create? Okay, click yes. Okay, just click enter, click enter, click enter. Just click yes. Click yes. Now it is initializing. The VMware host based file system allows for share folder between host OS and guest OS. Okay. Uh, type yes and click enter. Uh, just enter yes and click yes. Uh, yes, I'm going with the default no. okay uh, you can see here my Kali Linux interface has changed and it changed to the full screen now you can use in the very good manner uh, this is the terminal okay uh, the Kali Linux has successfully set up and it is ready to use okay that's it for today guys hope you will able to install Kali Linux on your computer successfully uh, if you got any problem while installing, uh, you can uh, leave your problem in the comment section. I'll try to solve your problem as quickly as possible. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.